There was a quite a uh, huge things that happened this week. Some teams have gone that were supposed to win lost, and some teams that lost were supposed to win. And they now the trade blocks closed. Where does everyone stand? This is Sports Hour. This was an interesting week. For a lot of the teams that came into this week thinking that they were going to take a win and then a lot of teams went left disappointed. Although there were a few really cool things that happened this last week. And uh, a lot of things did happen this week, and it's a, some pretty interesting games. Looking here at the NBL season, to start off, or this was actually, this is next week. We'll look at that, and we'll look at all these in a second. Last week, I did pretty well. I did, I did 15 and 5 as well. I mean, but there were a lot of really close games that end up being. And there were some games that just were absolute blowouts. The dogs shocked the Tigers in overtime. Yes, this was overtime. Your team. Um, Tigers were predicted to win that game. They ended up losing. It was a close game all game long. Dog. The Kings it was, kept the promise in winning that game, although they won by a little more than they were supposed to. Winning the game in 88-77. to 77. The Knights shut down the Legends in overtime. Is that what the right... No, they shut down the uh, Legends in overtime. They end up winning their, the game, putting themselves at, putting them at one and one. Panthers... Won out against the Foxes pretty heavily. It was a pretty close game for the first three quarters, and then after those three three quarters, it just ended up going very much Panthers' way. Indians went to, are now two and zero after winning their second game against the Bulldogs, and that puts the Bulldogs down and to zero and two. That might be wrong. Uh, the Warriors end up getting demolished by the Tex. Devils won by seven. And they end up winning by a little, quite a bit more. Uh, they end up winning. Winning by 24. So a pretty, pretty big portion is. Angels ended up getting pretty close game against the Browns. Uh, the Hawks fell by 50, so they are down. They lost by a lot against the Ravens, which is not surprising. That was intended to be a Ravens a 39. Honestly, 
That was pretty close. The most, the sh- most shocking game was the one, one of the games that happened on Monday, okay, which was between the Otters and the Lynx. The score in that game was so far distance. It was at the end of the third quarter. Otters had 35 points. Lynx had 80. Moving into 10 minutes, it, they came back by a ton to win the game. Not in overtime, at the last second. I could, I could, and there was a lot of things that came for that game. That game was the, was the best game of the season so far for those two teams. Those games, the all the games that happened this week, the Giants and Lynx end up tying, but they got a p- pretty tough game. Lynx are supposed to win by a lot. Lynx cats are supposed to win by a lot. They end up having a hard time in the fourth, which is something they've had a hard time recently in. Uh, it so it came down to the Lions and Athens game, which ended up being the Lions just edged out on by one. The predictions obviously were a little bit wrong with the Colts and Chargers game, which showed the Chargers were absolutely really good at that point. There was a lot of things that could have happened that would have been a whole lot better for these teams going into the season. I didn't need to actually get that one up. Of course, the NBL record ended up being it. So now we look at the team names. Now, what happens for these teams that have been 0-2, it's not really that far behind. There are still quite a bit of time left. It obviously, there's still 16 weeks or 14 weeks to go. Panthers currently lead. I don't know how long it's going to last. They currently have the most points. They currently are ranked first in offense. Offense. Surprisingly, the Kings are ranked first in defense, even though they have the literally the worst offense in the league. They haven't allowed many points. They just haven't scored. They haven't just not been too well for the actual scoring. So it's an absolute crazy thing going out for that. Power ranking. So now we get to our, our power rankings for this week. Um, a lot of things have changed. Uh, Packers are still dead last. They're actually at negative points right now. Officially, you can't get negative points, so any of the actual scoring puts them at zero. It just means that they actually have to get back two points in order to get back into possibly eighth. Right now, they are ranked 40. Um, Pirates went da- went up from three. Lynx went down. Links last week were at 16. They're if they're back at they are back. They're down one. Of course, Panthers are or were at six last week. They went up two ranks to get up one point, and no one really was a huge influence this week. Hopefully, we're looking at the Packers and hopefully the Packers do win. Now. The closest games, most of the games are pretty close, and uh, hopefully, I'm just hoping at some point that the legends or innings or teams in it get are in the top rankings don't need. And I'm hoping the teams that are in the bottom rankings that are just come back up. 
Obviously, the Aiken and Giants didn't get any points this week. I think, I think Aiden bet you went down one point. But hopefully, it goes real better. A lot of games have gone down in rankings. Hopefully, they'll do better next week. Uh, the few teams that have gone up in power rankings, the Cardinals are up two from last week. Okay. Both the Jets and Werewolves are up two from last week. Okay. And the Huskies, who were all the way down in 28 last week, are up here at 21st. They've actually moved up seven ranks, and also they're the team that really should be looking. We've got to watch for this next couple weeks. All right, let's take a look at the NBL picks for this next week. Last week I did 15-5. I am now 30-10, and 10, which is not, which is the best of all of them right now. Poppy is not too far behind. He's only got 23-17. and 17. All right, let's take a look at this next week. Predictions for overtaking place, and some of these are really could be really close game, and some of these are absolutely going to be blowouts. Uh, it's actually interesting to me to see some of these games that could be this. Fox and Tigers. I'm actually looking forward to this game because Fox and Tigers are both really good teams. Tigers, who are actually right now, probably should just go and put the same game. Next week, we'll have the, the power rankings. We'll have their actual records. Actually, we'll just go and fix that. All right, now that, so that, now that updated somewhat. These are the records for each of those teams at the time, so I don't have to go back and forth between them. This is actually a... Uh, Pretty interesting. Yes. We got some 0 2 teams facing each other. We got some. Yes. I did want to take a look to point out that I believe there is, in fact, the Hawks and the. What was it? The Hawks. If I remember correctly, I think the Haw there's two teams that don't face each other this year. I think it's the if the Hawks don't face one of those, I just wanted to look because I, I, there was something about this earlier today we we're talking about the teams that are currently undefeated. So currently you see that the Hawks and UNC, Hawks and UNC do not play this year. So there's official possibility, that's one possibility of there being a two teams that haven't, that are not, that are completely defeated. Bears, do the Bears play? No, Bears do not play them either, so that's, that's a third one. Uh, stars. Stars don't play them either, so that's number four. So... I think Warriors are playing them. The Warriors aren't playing them either. Wow. <laughs> That's five. And the Dolphins, I believe the Dolphins will play them. <laughs> so actually there's six teams right now, technically, that could be completely defeated. After the end of the season. I don't think that's actually, I think we might have max two teams. Because of physically possible, there's only been two teams in history that have gone that have gone completely defeated in the same season. 
Uh, but, you know, we got a lot of teams that could potentially just not get it. Hawks hopefully get a better experience. I'll talk about each one of these games when we get into this because there's a quite a few interesting games. Start off with the Foxes and the Tigers. My prediction here is actually going to be interesting because Foxes and Tigers are both really good. And I think the Foxes are, by the way, not undefeated. <laughs> I think the Foxes lost. <laughs> Foxes are 1-1, one one. yeah. I, I, I misread that. Foxes are 1-1. One one. So Foxes are 1-1, one one, Tigers are 1-1. One one. Both these teams are actually going to be interested in placing each other because this could have easily been the game of the week. Um... I'm going to go with the Tigers here. I think the Tigers are going to have a slightly better outcome here. It's going to be a very close game. Either way, I think this is absolute. I think one of the teams is going to win is going to win like a few, like a few points. I'm going to go with that answer. All right, Chucks and Hawks are supposed to play. Yeah. <laughs> Just to point out, this is a plus 47. <laughs> Just say it should be heavily favored. Here's my prediction here for the Hawks game. This game's not going to be close. It's going to be Jets all day long. I, they're just, the Hawks are too injured right now. Um, they, they could have, and I will say this, they could have gotten, gotten a player from the trade block on Monday, by 7 o'clock. They didn't do so, and that's two teams that didn't do it that should have done it, and we'll talk about the other team later. But, yeah, this is going to be an absolute blowout. I'm going to say the Jets win that game. I'm not going to say it's going to be 47 points. I'm going to say 30, but still, it's going to be an absolute blowout for that game. We got the Ravens and Giants. The Ravens are predicted plus 45. <laughs> Ooh, pretty intense here. It's pretty close here. You know, I, I'm going to give the benefit to the doubt here because the Giants were able to come back and hold off against the Leland Cats. I'm going to give the Giants the win here. I think the Giants do have what it takes to beat the Ravens. Honestly, this game could easily be another tie. Let's put it that way. And this game could have easily been the game of the week, but there's a closer game, so we're going to have to work about that game. Um, I think also there's a rule saying that ties can't be the game of the week, so I don't know. Is there a rule with that? No, but... <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going with the Giants. I'm going with the Giants there. I got the Tex and the Colts. Colts did really, really well for most of the first point of the game then they absolutely is they're gonna lose they're gonna have to lose this game i don't see the colts coming out back hits they kind of got overwhelmed in their game four uh and it's i'm gonna have to go with them losing this game so i think tex win this game i don't think by again not by 20 not by 30 but i think it's probably a few points i'd say probably 10 points falcons and browns is the tough one uh, Falcons currently are ninth in defense, 21st in offense. Browns are 25th in offense. They have basically exact, they have basically both the exact defensive stats here. This is a tough one for me. Both these teams are going to be defensively balanced. I'm actually going to give the Falcons the win here, but I think it is going to be. And I know the Browns are favored by four, and they're. But even I have to say, I'm going to say the Falcons do win this game. And I think it's going to be a much closer game. But this game is on Monday, so it's going to be a much later game. So they might have better, more, more time to do strategies. Panthers and Dogs. Divisional game. We look at the Panthers and Dogs. Uh, Panthers are number one in offense and number 11 defense. Dogs are... 14th in offense and 20th in defense. Unfortunately, I do not see the dogs winning this game. It's going to be Panthers. A dog, I'm great at dog tank, by the way. The BSA does own the dogs team. So, give me a benefit there. But, 
I just don't see it. I'm going to see the Panthers win that game. Knights and UNC. Knights. Um, <laughs> everyone's taking the Knights, okay? Do I think they're wrong about that? <laughs> nope, I don't. UNC is kind of just not doing well. And UNC has one of the... If you look at UNC... UNC has the worst offense in the league right now. One of the worst offense. I think they actually might have the worst offense in the league. Okay, they have a second worst offense in the league. Third worst offense in the league. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> yes. They're in 21st defense versus the team they're facing off against, which is... The Knights, who, sure, they don't have the best units, but they have a decent, they have a pretty defense. I think, honestly, both these teams um, are going to struggle somewhat, but I think off offense is going to be what's going to come it. I'm giving the Knights the win. I think it's just going to come down to a huge blow. I think, honestly, that's probably pretty accurate. Cardinals and Legends, plus two to the Cardinals. Now... At the original point of the season, I was saying that the Legends are going to be really good. Um, <laughs> let me go to find the sports hour things and tell what I said about the Legends. Legends are predicted... To win this game. But that was before. I did this in the wrong order. They were supposed to win that game. They were predicted they actually lost. The other way around. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was before I saw the actually do really well. Against a really sense of D. It's, I think this is going to be a tough one for me. In my prediction, it's so tough for me, but I'm going to give the Cardinals the win. I think, the, and I think honestly, plus two is probably right. I think it's going to be a very close game. All right, we got an undefeated team versus a completely defeated team. I think it's pretty obvious the Indians will win this game. Indians right now are showing a lot of stuff. And by the way, the Indians had never had a 2 no season. It's, it's started off, never started 2 no. They've started off 1-1 one, one before. They've started off 0-2 before, but not one, but not 2 and oh. So this is their best starting record they've ever had. And in my opinion, that's going to be here for me. I'm going to give them the Indians, the Indians the win here. All right, Lynx and Angels. Both teams 1-1. One, one. Lynx? Fell. <laughs> Angels. They fell. Wings have the win, pre win prediction in their favor. If we look at the links, links are currently 7th in offense. Tied for 24th in defense. Versus the Angels, who have not such a great record for those things. This is tough for me. This is tough. I'm actually going to say this is a pretty close game. And for me, this is going to be so close that this game probably goes to overtime. It probably ends up being a tie. I'm going to say, and when ties occur, we, we win either way. So, I'm going to give the, I'm not actually going to go with the links here, but I think, honestly, the Angels probably are going to come out and do really well now. All right. This is the only time in week three that two teams that have the same record with a tie have faced in, I think, I think history. Like, I think there was one other time that teams in the faced with a tie. And it was last year, I believe. Uh, where was the Phoenix a place of 11? Uh, most people are going for Leland Cats. Whew. 
I'm going to go with the Leland Cats. I think the Leland Cats just kind of had a shut down a little bit last week. I'm going to go with the Werewolves losing this game. I think, honestly, this game could go either way, though, in the end. All right, Dragons and Pirates, we, I don't think we have to go over much for me. I think Pirates absolutely demolished them in that game. If you look at the Dragons' stat line, they have eighth in defense. They're pretty bad in offense. Versus the other team, the Pirates, actually, neither of these teams are actually, Pirates are better in defense. Neither one of these teams is good in the context of the defense. I think it comes down to the scoring. The only difference is, Actually, if you look at this, the Dragons actually have one more point <laughs> than the Pirates do. I'm sorry. It's a recording studio really late. I'm going to go with Pirates winning this game. I think it's going to be much more of a blowout than I think. All right, we got the Superman and the Kings. Going with the Kings because this game is absolutely going to be crazy. Oh, wait a minute. No. I'm going to assume it. Uh, Kings are doing well, I admit. But the Superman have had two really good games. And they have blown out a team they were supposed to lose against. Grant, that team didn't has not done well in either one of the weeks. But we get Lightning and Ethan. I'm going to go with... This is terrible. I'm going to go with Ethan winning this game. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the Ethan are going to have much trouble. It's, it's, I mean, they're going to go 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yes. Okay. This is the other team I was thinking about. And it should have gone a player. Because they have gone crazy. And the Peacles are plus 40. And honestly, if it's not plus 40... It's probably more than that. Honestly, it's probably like plus 56 or something like that. Yeah, definitely going to be it. Oh, uh, who's going to... Okay, and then we got the Saints and Bulldogs. Uh, currently, Saints haven't won a game yet. Looking at the Saints, they're 0-2. And, and the Bulldogs all Saints. The difference is the... Bulldogs have a more rounded out team, and they have allowed, they have scored more points. I'm going to go with the Bulldogs winning this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints come up and surprise us in this game. Packers and Werewolves. The Warriors, sorry. Packers and Warriors. Uh, Warriors are predicted up by 19. Absolutely no chance the Warriors win this game. Warriors. <laughs> Have struggled. Look at we look at the last two weeks. Uh, Warriors got demolished by the Tex. Then the Warriors did actually held a really close game, but they were actually being demolished in most of that game. So uh, it's going to be the Packers winning that game. Packers have had some sad weeks as well. I mean, obviously the Packers haven't done super well. They got demolished in week one. And then they got a pretty close game in week, week one. So honestly, I feel like the Packers have a better chance of winning this game than the Warriors do. All right, game of the week we'll talk about in a second. The Dolphins and the Bobcats, we are going to say for the first time, I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Winning this game. I, I honestly feel that the Bobcats don't haven't shown on me enough to win against a team like this. The Dolphins have a pretty good record for this one. The Bobcats, not bad, but honestly, they just have a little bit of a. It's, they kind of fluked, honestly, in my opinion. I think, honestly, they're going to do a lot better. They're going to do a lot better. I'm going to go with the Dolphins winning this game. And if the Dolphins somehow win this game, I will be the only person that gets this game right. All right. Lions and Otters. Oh, boy. Both teams, 2-0. Divisional game. This is so tough. Lions 
here's the thing about the Lions games. Lions have eked out both of their games. Otters eked out their game in week one. But then they came back 57 points down to win the game against the Lynx. I'm going to say that the Otters have a little bit better stat line. I'm going to go with the Otters winning this game. I think the Lions have a great stat line. Honestly, by the way, this game is 100% is actually a tie between the two teams. Both teams is even. Both teams are the same record-wise. If you look back at the Otters and Lions game, which, by the way, they're currently playing for first place in Nibs, they have the exact same stat lines for this game. I'm going to say the Otters because they do have a better offense. Even though the Lions have a better defense overall, I do think it's going to be a very close game. I'm going to go with the Otters winning this game. This game could end up being a tie as well. This game happens on Monday. And honestly, if I were to say it, this game should have easily been the game of the week. Um, they did not want to put this the game of the week. <laughs> All right. This is the tough one. Chargers and Huskies. Week one. If you look back at the Chargers, Chargers got demolished pretty much for most of that game. As for the Huskies, they won their game. Barely. Huskies then barely won against the Superman, but they actually surprised and came back to win that game. They were actually heavily not favored in that game. In that game at all. As for Chargers, they were heavily not favored in the game they won. In week one, Chargers were heavily not favored, and they also they actually lost. So it's gonna be a close game. I'm gonna go with the Huskies. And honestly, I feel it's fair to say the Huskies could end up winning this game because they are in the you know, they are underdogs, but not by much. Not by enough. Uh, and point out for the power rankings. Can we go back to? Can we get the power rankings, please? I want to look at the power rankings real quickly for that. That's not the power rankings. I gotta go find the power rankings because apparently power rankings are much more difficult than you might think to find. Here's the power rankings. Here's what we look at for the power rankings because power rankings, if if the team does tie, it doesn't help their rankings. If the team is underdog by five or more, then they can actually go up one point. If they win by 25, if they go up one point. If they win and they're underdogs by at least five and they win by 25, they get all three points. So you could potentially get three points in a week. If you lose, you go down one point. There's no way of going down two points. Um, I don't really know. Okay, so I want to point out these are both actually negative ones because they both lost. They didn't actually go down it. So I actually need to go up a little bit here. The Hawks are actually current. So those are the current power rankings for this team. And it doesn't look like it actually updated these things correctly. <laughs> I'm not going to look at the actual rankings for this one. Uh, Knights are actually... Up here. You can see is down here. There we go. I think we have it right now. 
So these are the pre. And when I look at power rankings, these are the previous pre. These are the last positions. So if they were, for example, last, they are still, and they went down rankings. They would probably still it would still be last. But if they were first, and they won, they win. They did not. The links did not win, so they actually went down power rankings. The higher the power ranking, this is how I determine the power rankings for each week, and this is how the predictions are determined. Their ranking, their total ranking, so I'm going to show one of these things. Let's just say I'm going to show you the team. Let's say well, I'm going to go to the Panthers, the Panthers are top. Panthers have 12 points. That's their starting ranking. If they're ranking, and then we look at the power rankings. Their power rankings are minus the total number of their points they have. So the Panthers had 12, so they would actually be negative 2. You can't be negative 2. Um, so you, what happens is, at that point, then we actually put the other team down another 2 points. Up in their two points, which means that they actually have a worse ranking, even though that doesn't much doesn't doesn't work as well. So these are the current rankings. I don't still don't know what the Athens have a. I already did this, I think, because Athens did not have a loss. When did Athens didn't have a loss last week? No, they had a loss. Okay, so they did go down one. I've been I've already put the rankings in there for each one of these. But these are how it works, and that's how the power rankings works. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how some of these games work for next week. And it does take me a while to do these things. I, I think some of these games are really close, and I feel like there's just a few teams that just really should have taken the print at the actual looking at getting players. The Hawks should have done that. The Stars should have done that. I think one week is not going to make much of a difference, but when you get to two weeks, where you get destroyed in two weeks, looking at the Hawks, they got destroyed in week one, even though they got better stats. Stars got destroyed in week one. Even if you have, you know, better, if you have better stats in week one and your game just gets worse, I think, honestly, you got to do better than that. That's all for Sports Hour. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to keep your game on. And I'll see you guys in the next next week.